I'm not trying to wreck your little fantasy, Teresa, but Ethan's not going to leave Gwen, ever. You're wrong, Fox. I'm wrong. How am I wrong when he keeps saying over and over and over and over and over again how he's going to remain faithful to Gwen? It's like his mantra. Yeah, he's just, he's trying to talk himself into it, but it's not going to work. No. From where I'm standing, it looks like it's the other way around. You know? Like you're trying to talk yourself into believing that he's actually going to leave Gwen for you. Look, he's not. Ever. Teresa. My half-brother is the original Dudley Do-Right, okay? He's the last honorable man. He'd rather walk across hot coals in his bare feet than go back on any vow that he made. And I certainly don't see him breaking his marriage vows as he made to Gwen or turn his back on his child. No, I don't expect him to turn his back on his child, okay? He, he's, he's too responsible. But when it comes to Gwen, that's another story. He only married her because she's pregnant. He really loves me. Teresa. I admire your optimism, really, but um, I think you're going to end up being disappointed. No. No, you, you don't see the way you kissed me before. No, miss that one. It was like a man in love. You know? It was like a new princess. I love you. <laughs> And I know that you love me. <laughs> Trust me, Fox. Ethan loves me. Ethan's with Gwen. But he's only with Gwen because she's going through a difficult pregnancy. He feels obligated, okay? And I totally understand that. But he's not going to be able to resist our love forever. So once Gwen has her baby and she recovers, Ethan will come back to me. I know he will. 